Here we go. 3814. It's pretty much almost completed. Looks great. I'm about to uh, go inside and start my visual inspection, but it looks like uh, palm trees are in, grass is in. They're working on the on the water uh, and they're touch-ups at this point, but they're missing the lights out here. They have to shave and paint that area right there. Caulk uh, around the garage doors. And then they have to put in all the lighting, but the electric is all in. Doors in. And this is the house. Crown molding. All the AC ducts are in. This uh, paper down so the floor doesn't get too dirty and damaged. But the floor is in. The tile looks really nice. They have to at this point caulk uh, around the baseboards, uh, put all the electrical uh, outlets, touch up the walls. I see a lot of touch ups that need to be done, but again, that's not a problem because I'll come in here with uh, tape and mark. After they're done, I'll come and mark everything that I see that's not 100%. Um, according to my standards um, and believe me my standards are really high um, go to the cabinets are in again the lights need to be installed countertops need to be installed in this area onto the laundry, uh, laundry room here Ken cabinets are in Plumbing is in. They're doing a pressure test. That's a pressure test. Um, that's where the dryer goes, and this is where the washer goes, and the sink goes right there. Storage. Okay, we'll go this way again. This is what it looks like. It's looking great. It really is looking great. Missing all the countertops, but the um, cabinets are in. All of them. closet. It's all set and ready to go, except for the uh, corking of the baseboards, which again I'll, ma I'll make sure that that gets done. On this side, you have, this needs to be painted, uh, that needs to be painted, and then the alarm system is already installed, wired at least. Garage. You have the two garage door openers there. Installed already. This is the electrical panel. They did that so they don't paint over all the electrical wires. That's where the water heater is going to be. And that's the pop-up tile. You can put a ladder, a drop ladder there, 
so you can uh, have storage above the garage. We'll go this side real quick. Storage closet under the stairs. There's going to be a light switch there. Light. Got plenty of storage in there. Bedroom. Closet. Has already the closet organizer. The shelf. And then the bathroom. Cabinets still missing the granites, still missing the light. Uh, it's tiled already. And I believe, yep, it's grouted already. So it's ready to go. All we need is the handles, faucets, the vent, electric, I'm sorry, the lights, and the toilet. And then all the switches for it. As we go out, we'll go to the other side of the house first. We'll go to, to the master. Doors are in. And see, this is the kind of stuff that they need to fix. Okay. Um, so it's not a problem though. It's just. You know, it'll be fixed. I'll make sure of that. Um, and they very nicely did the the bowed floor molding. All it needs to do is be painted and um, and caulked. But this is the bathroom. Again, you have the crown molding in here. Cabinets. Cabinets missing the countertops. But you have an electrical socket right there. You'll have the medicine cabinet here. And there's the tub. Missing the handles and sink. Uh, there's the shower. Okay. And there's the overhead. have not been put down here yet, but they'll soon be. Ronald, I'm assuming that this will be your closet because it's a smaller one. And I'm assuming this will be hers because it's the big one. At least that's what would happen in my house. She would get the big closet and I get the little one. Um, bedroom, master bed with a tray ceiling. There's and this side of the house. All right. Here's a guest bath. Again, missing the countertops and electric lights. The tub is there. Missing the faucets. Bedroom. Again, missing the rugs, but they'll they'll leave that almost till the end because they don't want the rugs to get dirty. So they'll they'll put those just a few days before closing or a week before closing. So they don't want people trampling through the through the rugs, making a mess. And they have to clean all this all this mess on the floor, all the dust and debris. 
So they'll put those the rugs after all the electric is in. And that's when they'll do the rugs. And we have the stairs going up, the banisters in. Wire for um, the surround sun is hanging up. If you see the wires, wires, wires hanging up. The duct for the for the cables, cable TV, electrical, surround sound. This is a data. All right. This is where they'll have the um, thermostat for upstairs AC. Bathroom upstairs. Again, missing same thing. Electrical sink. Don't worry about that. That's not painted. That's a piece of plastic. That green stuff is plastic that is over the tub so it doesn't get scratched up. And then the final bedroom. With the closet in here. And in here is where we have the two AC units. This one is a smaller one. Okay, so this is going to be the one that's going to supply the upstairs and this one, which is huge, is the one that will be supplying downstairs the first floor. But that's all done, that's all installed and ready to go. So, uh, when you guys get here, I will explain uh, all about these pipes and how to keep the system clean and filters and all that good stuff. But that's the house, it looks great. It's looking good. I see a lot of stuff that needs to be addressed, you know, but it's all uh, appears to be minor stuff. But that is all things that I will address um, pre closing with the construction manager as I walk through the house. I walk around with blue tape, and what I do is let's say that I'm walking around and I see something like that, I'll put a blue piece of tape on it, and they need to uh, fix that. Um, Things like, um, you know, I'll even go as little as that. Anything that I see is going to have blue tape on it, and they need to fix it. Um, so by the time you get the house, it's going to be in pristine condition. All right? Let's take a look real quick outside so you can take a look at your lanai. All right. Here's the lanai. Everything appears that uh, they sprayed the floor, they sprayed the walls. Alright, so everything is looking good. The grass is installed back here. That pink pipe that you see coming out of the floor, that's for the sprinkler systems. Okay. And a tile roof. Alright. And the last thing that I'll show you is as we go on this side, you'll see the AC units. See, the house looks great. Everything looks good. When I walk on the outside, I do a visual inspection for any cracks, hairlines, or anything like that. And uh, as of right now, I don't see anything, so that's good news. Uh, that's the one that supplies downstairs. That's the one that supplies upstairs. And this is where you can have your garbage cans uh, so you don't have to have them in the garage. All right. Uh, and as you can see, as we go around, you see all these this is for the water sprinklers so as you can see there's little flags everywhere those flags indicate that there's a sprinkler head in there when we do the walkthrough we'll make sure that all of these heads are operating properly okay uh, just to, that right there would have to be fixed okay so those are the things that I'll address with the builder as uh, always as we do our final walkthroughs but other than that I mean it's looking good um, I'm happy with the results so far I hope that you are as well, 
and um, I'll keep in touch. If you have any questions, give me a call.